Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we're playing a little bit of Demir Control. Um, so this is a deck that uh, plays a lot of instants and sorceries and then tries to win either with a Shark Typhoon, a Torrential Gear Hulk, or a Virtue of Persistence. Um, those are our kind of finishers in the deck. Um, and uh, yeah, we've kind of just got a lot of uh, ways to uh, take over the game, um, stop whatever our opponent's doing, and then just gradually turn the corner like any other control deck. Um, so we are running a few new cards from Wilds of Eldraine in this, so as well as a Virtue of Persistence, which is a seven mana enchantment that says, at the beginning of your upkeep, put to target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It also has one and a black for a sorcery adventure. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. You gain two life. We're also running two copies of Quick Study, which is two and a blue for an instant, draw two cards, so a direct upgrade on Divination. And then in the main deck, we're running one copy of The End, so this is a four-mana instant that says Exile Target Creature or Planeswalker, searches, controls, graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that permanent to exile them. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card exiled this way. And it also costs two less to cast if we have five or less life. So a very useful removal spell that can deal with um, sort of a key combo piece for the opponents, you know, shield rids, grease fangs, just get rid of all of them all at once. So that's a very handy deck. And we are running another one in the sideboard, just in case we need access to that in particular against any particular opponent. Um, and then the rest of the deck is a lot of uh, cheap and powerful spells um, that you would expect uh, to find in a control deck. So we've got four copies of Fatal Push and one Cling to Dust at the one drop slot. So Cling to Dust is uh, targeted graveyard hate as well as being potentially uh, drawing us a card or gaining us life if we need. Then we've got two copies of Change the Equation, one copy of Negate. Um, one saw it coming, and two sinister sabotage. So these is this is our counter spell package. Um, so a lot of uh, useful counter spells. So change the equation is still quite useful, even if you're not targeting red or green spells. But there is so much red or green in the format that uh, most of the time, well, probably about half the time, you'll be facing an opponent who will be using those colors. So that's useful to bear in mind. Then we have uh, also Drown in the Lock is technically a counter spell as well, obviously, as well as a removal spell, but we have a, a few more at two mana, so we've got two Heartless Act, and then four Shieldred's Edict, so this can uh, uh, kind of use whatever mode we need, um, so it can take down opposing, opposing Planeswalkers as well. Then we've got four copies of Narset, Parter of Veils at three mana, so stops the opponent drawing more than one card a turn, and could also minus two to let us dig for a non-creature, non-land card among our top four. Two copies of Memory Deluge, so um, the, one of the great card advantage spells in the format. And then two copies of Extinction Event as mass removal. And as I say, all of our finishers are at the uh, at the top of the curve, so three Shark Typhoons, so we can either cycle that to create a Shark token, or if the game's going long, potentially hard cast it and then start generating Sharks whenever we play an instant or sorcery. Torrential Gear Hulk, 5-6 with Flash, that lets us cast an instant card from our graveyard without paying its mana cost. And then, as I say, Virtue of Persistence, which can reanimate a creature in any graveyard. Then we've got a lot of lands, as control decks tend to do. Um, 26 lands, I think, we're running. So as well as the blue-black lands, we've got one copy of Guy Reach Sanitarium, which can not only smooth out our cards and give us card selection, but pairs quite well with Narset in stopping the opponent from drawing and just making them discard. So that's worth bearing in mind. And then we have a few utility lands as well. We've got a Castle Vantress, an Ottawara, and a Takanuma. And we've also got Hall of Storm Giants and Hive of the Eye Tyrants as well, which can also act as game enders if we need them to. Then in the sideboard, we've got three copies of Thoughtseize. If we need some hand disruption, um, two Disdainful Strokes as additional counter spells to bring in against uh, decks which are running a lot of expensive spells. Two Unlicensed Hearths, which is our kind of premium graveyard hate. Two copies of Go Blank, which is not only hand disruption, but also graveyard hate. Um, Kalitas, which uh, we can bring in against decks which are trying to uh, kind of burn us out quickly. So 3-4 lifelink um, turns the opponent's dead creatures into 2-2 two, two black zombies. Um, Languish is additional mass removal. Uh, a couple of Shieldred the Apocalypse. Don't need to go over what that card does again. Uh, what another copy of the end, and then we've got a Hullbreaker Horror as well. So this is good for control ma control mirrors and that kind of thing. So seven eight with flash for seven mana can't be countered. 
Whenever you cast a spell, choose up to one, return target spell you don't control to its owner's hand, and return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. So once you cast this and untap, generally it's very hard for your opponent to then deal with it. So that is Demir Control, as I say, broadly as you'd expect to find from previous versions, but we are running a few copies of uh, new cards, so we'll see how much they improve the deck. Um, thanks very much for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons. Always appreciate the support as ever. And yeah, let's go onto the ladder and see how we go on with this. Um, it sounds a little heavy on land, but let's have Takaduma to potentially... So the opponent's on some kind of Lotus Field style deck. Okay, they're digging for land. We're digging for anything that isn't land. Oh, well, at least they have to sacrifice their two other lands, I suppose. So let's cycle our own shark typhoon. Well, I'm not going to be short of, uh, yep. Many things to do. None of them in my hand. Well, let's counter that. He's got bad vibes. Okay, so the opponent is running the Beanstalk version of this deck. No, just more land. Good O. Sylvan Scrying. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Well, I'll do this. Chances are I'll just mill away three good cards, but you never know. Okay, two more lands. Sure, I'm being punished for something. Probably something I did in a previous life. Okay, let's play Narset. Uh, let's take Virtue of Persistence. Play a land. Guessing the opponent doesn't have any counter spells, looking at the way they're hand is not sticking when we try and do things. Uh, let's sinister sabotage that. Uh, how many cards have they got in their graveyard? Eight. Yes, I'll take a drown in the lock. Every Deluge is a good one. So we're not yet ready to turn the corner just because we don't want to tap out. And also, what are we getting back? 
a strict prop to it's not exactly that exciting is it now they've got infinite mana um yeah all right fair enough that makes sense Um, so I could, yeah, I'll drown that in the lock. Uh, let's take two more counter spells, I think. Pass the turn. Let's edict that away. Truly villainous behaviour on my part, but you know, I'm quite enjoying it. Yeah, let's play a new NASA. Mm, let's take another Shieldred's Edict. Good way of dealing with all of Storm Giants. And we'll negate that. So they've got a lot of mana. We are going to need to turn the corner at some point. Let's play another Nasa. Um. Well, we're just carrying on, I think. Don't we all love a control mirror? Everyone's favourite. Heartless act one of these. I would actually quite like a land at some point. I know I've been complaining about not having enough land, but I take it all back. I saw you coming this time. Very well, you can have our Narset now. Not much about having Teferi hanging around. Uh, yeah, so I'll take the lad. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. So, disdainful stroke, hull breaker horror, the end. Um, thought seize. Let's take out fatal. Well, leave in a couple of fatal pushes. Uh, let's take out extinction event. Virtue of persistence. Change the equation. Although, mm, change the equation does hit. No, it's coming out. Um, he. Mm. It's not so bad that I care to do anything about it at the moment. Um... Oh, that's not very good. Uh, let's take their Narset. Yep. Let's play one of our own. Oh, there go all of our lands. Good, good. Okay, so the opponent's on the play. Do we want go blank is essentially the question here. I don't... Th uh, they've got so much card advantage. What, will, what are we taking out if we put in go blank? Maybe the end? Maybe we could try it, I suppose. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that. Double shielded edict is a bit on the depressing side. Disdainful strokes good. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this one's marginal. I think I'm going to send it back. This is slightly better. Still a bit short of land, but... Turn one thought sees is very welcome. Oh, hello. Um, okay, let's... Let's not worry about thought distortion for the time being. Uh, let's just take the beanstalk. That blimmin' thought sees bug. Honestly, I'm gonna have words. All right, let's cycle shark for nothing. Now we hit the thought distortion. Yep, that is truly intolerable to have that hanging around. Thank you. 
I disapprove of the existence of your card. Ooh, it's going to be a close one, this one. Uh, do I want to use this now? Save it for the Emperor. Trouble is, Narset's reversal is about to come down, so I think I'm stuck using it now. Uh, edict's good. Okay, we're running out of road here, unfortunately. If I get a hole breaker horror down, it might go some way to helping us. Okay, Nars, that's good. Uh, <laughs> go blank. Um, yes, let's take go blank. Uh, this has all been rather on the rough side, hasn't it? Okay, let's burn Narset. Uh, Copy the... Uh... No, because they'll just use it to draw two cards. Ah, that being in their hand is so annoying. Go away. Um... Let's just hope they think we have a counter spell. Nope. Ah. Just ran out of things to do there. Never mind. Um, yeah, so we don't yet have the mana to cast Narset, but Hope Springs Eternal, there it is. So let's open with a Swamp, just in case we have something to Fatal Push. I'm always about that. Ah, how rude! Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay, let's cycle shark. Okay, that's a decent removal spell, so let's use this now. Can't let that lie around. Ooh, a tortoise. Right, let's, um, uh, Mills of Perturbative. I don't really want them ramping here. Um, let's play Narsa. Uh, let's take another... No, let's take Drown in the Lock here. Lull them into a false sense of security. Yeah, 
interesting. Okay, the full Golgari bad stuff, so... Well, let's activate Narset again. Take a sinister sabotage. Let's destroy their tortoise. Okay, well, we're building up to being able to cast Torrential Gear Hulk, which I think will be a welcome development. Interesting, they're just ignoring my Narset. Maybe they're just not that fast about drawing cards. Oh, they're not fast, neither am I. Sadly, got nothing to bring back now, so let's Field of Ruin there, Blooming Marsh. Grab an island. And let's Fatal Push their Graveyard Glutton. Discarding a land. Now at least we have Fatal Push to use again, but in the meantime, let's play another Narsa. Um, what should we take here? I think I'm happy to take the end here. A lot of good choice there, but uh, got to pick something. Let's sinister sabotage that. Yeah, I'll take a memory deluge all day long. Um, so I could use the end here, but not that fast, I don't think. How do I feel about Bank Buster? Don't really have any strong feelings either way. But let's Memory Deluge now, anyway. Take Negate and Extinction Event. And let's negate it. Uh, what have I got down here? Okay, Edict's good, so let's... Let's play the end on Vraska. Okay, I've only got the one copy. It's useful to know. Now let's edict away the tortoise. So they are slowly running out of things to do. So 
So let's play Torrential Gear Hulk. Let's bring back Shieldred's Edict. Maybe I should have cast the end there. Yeah, swings and roundabouts. Fate will push that before it can hit our memory deluge. Wow. It's pretty cheeky. Uh, Narset and Gaia Reach Sanitarium, I think, are good combos here. Take a quick study. Let's pass the turn. Another tortoise, you say? All right, fair enough. So we're going long in this game. Another fatal push is good. It's hard cast virtue of persistence. Pass the turn. I will keep killing your hives. Don't think, don't think I won't. Here comes the restless cottage. On some level, I admire their refusal to die. Ooh, you public menace.
Torrential Gearhulk. Hello again. Let's uh Shield Red's Edict again. Let's pass the turn. Okay, another wrestler's cottage, you say. Okay. So let's put a stop on our upkeep so we can use... Um... Still not going to work. But it is a way of getting the Dread Knight into play, I suppose. Um... Okay, well, let's draw with Gaia each sanitarium. Let's discard extinction event. Pass the turn. Uh, let's take the graveyard trespasser and let's scry. No and no. Uh, let's eat one of their creatures here. Let's eat one of their tortoises. Well, no, let's wait for them to pay the ward first, obviously. Okay, well, that gives us something. Let's pass the turn. Oh, no, it doesn't, because we can't stop them from... Ah, no, because Hive is going to kill us. Uh, is there anything we can do here? No, nope, don't think so. Fair enough. Yep, just their endless supply of creature lands was enough. So let's bring in the other copy of the end. Disdainful Stroke. Uh, go blank. No, not go blank on on the draw when they're on the draw. Kalitus, Shieldred. Let's take out Edict. Saw it coming. Uh, sinister sabotage, I think. Um, hmm. Nope, can't keep that. Not enough land. Can keep that. Let's pop back. Fatal push, I think.
Let's kill that. Can't have them surveilling all over the place. It'll get quite messy. I do like this sort of Golgari lands mid-range style thing. Cycle Shark. Uh, now, let's Virtue of Persistence that. Discarding Fatal Push. Uh, let's discard the end here. Okay, so the opponent's a bit short of land. That's useful to know. So let's play Narset. Okay, here comes the tortoise. Mm, nice of you to join us. Okay, that's not ideal. So let's draw and discard. Let's keep uh, Liliana. Okay, we're getting pretty badly mauled here. So let's keep the attacks going. Okay. Um, no, fair enough. Yeah, this version of control is just not getting it done for us, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, that was pretty disappointing all round. Um, didn't feel like the deck got close to winning either of those matches, to be honest. So let's have a look at... Uh,
Maybe this is just the inferior version of control at this point. Hmm, interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether there are changes that could make this deck better, maybe with just a couple of unlucky matchups. Hmm, hard to say. But yeah, we'll see. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.